Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at how we can calculate the length between two points on a grid using Pythagoras. Okay, let's have a look at the example we've got in front of us. Uh, so I've got my two points marked on my grid. I've got my point A up here and point B down here marked with the crosses. Uh, I've connected them up with a straight line. So remember that the shortest distance between two points is always going to be a straight line. Um, and I could cheat, I could use my ruler over here. Um, the grids on here are one centimetre long, so one centimetre high and one centimetre across. Uh, I could measure the distance between A and B. Let's see what we get. Well, I've got ten centimetres. Now I know the answer that I'm looking for when I do my Pythagoras. Um, but I want to be able to work that out using my maths. Now if I have a look at my straight line, I don't know how long each of these small sections of line are. Each of these individual line things, I don't know how long they are. I've got no way of working them out. But I do know that each of these grids is one square, one centimetre down if I go vertically. And similarly if I go across, I know I'm going one square, one centimetre each time. So if I were to go straight down from my pointer A, get my ruler, and mark it on, and I was to go across from my point B until those two lines join, there go, they meet in the corner, I know that this angle here must be a right angle because all of the lines of my grid are at right angles to each other, so the length AB that I'm trying to work out is opposite my right angle, so it must be my hypotenuse, my longest side, which I'm going to call C. Well, I also know how long these are, so I can count my squares. I've got two, four, six, eight squares. And across the bottom I've got two, four, six squares there. So I've gone six squares across, eight squares up. I've got a right-angled triangle, so I can use my Pythagoras to work out what that length C is. Uh, so as ever, I'm going to start off by writing down my formula. So I've got A squared plus B squared is equal to square of the longest side that hypotenuse c squared. I can substitute my value, so my let's call a is 8, b is 6. Remember it doesn't matter which way around, my a to my 6 go, as long as it, my longest side I'm labelling up c. So a squared plus b squared is c squared, a is 8, 8 squared, my b value is 6, and that's equal to c squared. Always write these steps down. Remember, you're picking up method marks as you go through. You're much less likely to make mistakes as you're getting working out down on paper. So 8 squared is 64. 6 squared is 36. If you can't remember, you can always use your calculator. But some of those square, the square numbers of single digits, we should know. So 8 squared is 64. 6 squared is 36. And that's going to equal C squared. 64 and 36 is 100. And then I want to square root both sides and that's going to give me c is equal to 10. So c equals 10, in this case it's centimetres because each of my grid squares is one centimetre. Uh, fortunately, that's the answer I got when I measured, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Remember to do your sense check as well. I've got two shorter sides at 8 and 6, so I'm looking for a value that's going to be bigger than both 6 and 8. I've got a number 10, it's a sensible number, passes my sense check. Uh, let's have a look at another example. Uh, in this case, again, we're looking uh, to find the distance between A and B. Uh, A is marked on here and B is on here. Uh, and the points are in different parts of my grid. So one is in this quadrant over here, A is in this one over here. It doesn't make any difference. I can still draw a straight line between the two points. And I can still make out my triangle. So remember, I'm going to use my horizontal and my vertical lines to form up a right angle triangle. So I'm going to go, in my case, I'm going to go right from A over to here and then I'm going to go up from B and I've got myself a right angle triangle so I can use my Pythagoras my longest side my hypotenuse is AB which is the side I'm trying to find uh, when you're finding these distances between two points you're always going to be finding the longest side so it means we haven't got to worry about doing any subtraction we're always going to be adding our two squares together and then taking the square root uh, it, I decided to draw my triangle to the right and up. I could have also drawn my triangle up and across. I'd still get exactly the same answer for the length of A and B, 
My height up here would be 2, same as this height here, which is 2, and this length here would be 5 squares, which is the same length as this one here. So I end up with the same calculation if I draw my triangle above rather than below my line AB. It doesn't matter, your choice. Sometimes if your line's going through here it's easier to draw it below because the, the grid lines don't get in the way, but it's your choice. Uh, going to write my equation down. Every time I use it I'm going to get it down on paper. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. I'm going to call my base A and I'm going to call my height B. could swap those around, wouldn't make any difference. But C, the answer uh, for my hypotenuse, I'm trying to work out, it's got to be that longest side. Uh, A has got the value 5, so 5 squared. B's got the value 2, that's 2 squared is equal to C squared. So I've got 25 plus 4 is equal to C squared. This one's not quite so nice, so I've got 29 is equal to C squared. I'm going to need my calculator. Um, so I need to take the square root of 29, uh, square root of 29 equals square root of 29, bizarrely enough. Uh, we're going to hit the FD button and we're going to get the value 5.38, but that 8 is going to get rounded up to a 9, it's going to get bullied by that 5 in the third decimal place. So 5.39, let's write that down, 5.39 is equal to C. Uh, in this case I haven't got any units, I think that this grid is slightly different size, they're not in centimetres, so I'm just going to leave my answer as C equals 5.39. Uh, what I'd like you to do now, after I finish talking, I'll, I'll tell you when, but I want you to pause the video, uh, have a look at the attachment and have a go at the Superman challenge. What you're doing is you're trying to work out the distance between two uh, di different points on the grid, Superman's going to fly between, starts from his base and he heads off. Uh, so the first page gives you the grid, the second page gives you the direction, so he starts off from his base and he flies off to one of the other villains um, uh, and then he makes his next leg. So on your grids, you're probably going to need to copy these into your book, as you don't need to copy the villains out, but you do need to plot the points, so work out your grid, plot out where he's starting, plot out where he's going to, um, connect them up with a straight line, draw your right angle triangles and work out those distances. Once you've done that, uh, come back to the video and we'll have a look at something a little bit different. Okay, hopefully you've all done the Superman challenge. If you haven't done the Superman challenge, pause the video, go back, do the challenge, uh, and then come back here. Okay, uh, what we're having a look at this time, uh, very similar to what we've uh, already been doing, but this time we've been asked to work out the distance between two points, two coordinates, negative two, negative three, and three, one. First thing we need to remember is what we mean by our coordinates. So X and Y, we're going to go along the corridor and up the stairs. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot those two points on my grid. So negative 2, negative 3. Negative 2 along the corridor. So along the corridor, negative 2, so I'm going to the left. It's marked on as negative 2. And then up the stairs. In this case, negative 3 means I'm going down the stairs. So 1, 2, 3, in line with my negative 3. So negative 2 along the corridor, negative 3 up the stairs. In this case I'm going down. Uh, so that's my point A. Let's call this one A and we'll call this one B. And I'm looking for the distance between that and the point 3, 1. So I'm going 3 along the corridor and 1 up the stairs. And that's my point B. Then I can go through the same process that we've been doing. I can connect those two points up with a straight line using my ruler. Uh, I can draw my triangle. I'm going to go down from B and then to the left over to A. Remember, I could have gone left and then down. I get exactly the same answer. Uh, I've got a right angle in the corner here. My grid lines are at right angles to each other. I'm going to draw my arrow, which is going to point to my hypotenuse, my longest side. So I'm trying to find that longest side. Every time we're trying to find this distance between two points, we're going to be finding the longest side. Uh, let's count my squares. So I've got one, two, three, four. And going across, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm ready to put my pot over stand on, on paper. So write my formula. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Uh, let's call the base A and the height B, 
remember I can swap those two around I've got 5 squared plus 4 squared is equal to c squared uh, 5 squared, I can do that, 5 times 5 is 25 4 times 4 is 16 is equal to c squared root 41 definitely a job for the calculator uh, square root of 41 is equal to let's hit the FD and we've got 6.40 to two decimal places so 6.40 to two decimal places so C is equal to 6.40 so in our next challenge we're going to be having a look at Iron Man he's going to be doing a similar sort of journey to Superman uh, but this time we haven't got a grid but we've got his coordinates so what we're going to do is we're going to plot those coordinates on our grid we're going to connect them up with a straight line we're going to draw our right angle triangles and we're going to use Pythagoras to work out the length of each of those journeys okay uh, when you're ready uh, pause or stop the video and then have a go at the Ironman challenge good luck